Ryan Tripp joined by Penn State head coach Guy Godowski and coach first of all it's just really great to be back in person doing this I know the excitement level is high to go out there on the bench and see the fans today. That's exactly right it's uh, it's excited to get the season started but it is more so excited to to go out in the in the hallway see the the roar zone feel the atmosphere than it is to actually play the game so it's it's something that I think our staff has felt more normal today than we have in probably 18 months. LIU game one Ready to go. It looks solid. I think uh, everyone's coming together and uh, everyone wants this first win and uh, I think uh, we're going to go out and do that. The Penn State hockey team was thirsty for action, not just to start a new season, but to start one with fans back in Pagula after last season's pandemic plague circumstances. All right, that's just so awesome. I mean, warm ups are still on. Look at it. It's fantastic. It had been 589 days since the Nittany Lions played a game in front of more than just family and friends, and they were more than anxious to make that crowd roar. One thing I want you to know that we understand is that mistakes are going to be made. Guaranteed. Promised. Multiple by everybody. So, don't worry about making mistakes. We aren't judging anybody by how many mistakes they made unless they're by your sitting around wondering what to do. Okay? What you know, you know. So go play. The first game against LIU marked the beginning of the Nittany Lions' 10th season in Division I. It wasn't just the fans who were in for a treat. Less than half the Nittany Lion roster had ever experienced the true Pagola Ice Arena atmosphere. In the season before COVID, they were first in the country in attendance per building capacity. And many of them were about to find out firsthand what it's like to play with that kind of support. A big reason why the first nine years had produced championships, NHL players, and a Hockey Valley game experience as good as there is in all of collegiate sports. Kicks, your line starts, Billy, you and Paul, Oscar, you got it. Once the puck dropped, though, it was all business, and it didn't take long for the Nittany Lions to grab their first lead of the season. Virginia, near circle, backdoor, fire, score! That started a theme for the opening series against the Sharks, production from underclassmen. Go, go, go. Back into the attacking zone, near circle shot, it was flopped, goes behind, wraps it on, loose, score! Chase McLean in the net now! What a period, huh? We, get, we, we need to get a lot more shots on net, but two goals in a period is never bad. So much fun. Roar zone's electric. Oh, so much fun playing in front of them. Big period. Trying to finish the game off strong here. It's a good period to get going. Good first goal, nice pass by Dan. Fun time. Crowd's packed, so it's good. First talk, does that feel good? Pretty good. Yeah. Nice start. Nice start. Thank you. It didn't take long for things to get back to normal. the way it was a year and a half ago. Penn State was winning. Pagula was packed. Oscar Audio was making saves and even picking up an assist on the goal that locked up game one late in the third period. Far boards off a of body. Carlson. Carlson stays, he stays. Here comes McMenamin though, flies on in, shot, score! Penn State won their first game of the season and first ever game against LIU 3-1. But the guys also set the tempo for game two of the series coming up the following night. All in all, a great way to open a season full of hope with the scars to prove it. One lesson learned in a season of growth ahead. We're going to be going into the Thomas building right now. Uh, pretty cool building. A couple of my classes here. Um, my apartment's only like six minutes from it, which is pretty nice. All right, heading into Thomas uh, for English 234. Uh, it's a pretty fun class. Uh, I, I, I sit next to Kiara Zanin on the women's team, so hopefully she's in here. Give her a hard time. Turns out she is in here. Let's see what she has to say. Do you want to say anything to uh, Penn State Men's Ice Hockey? What? <laughs> 
What's up, guys? Just finished English class. I usually run into some of my other teammates uh, in this building. So right here we got freshman Simon Mack. Just had his first Penn State hockey game last night. What did you think about the game? Uh, I thought it was a great game. Um, definitely a lot of areas we can improve, but uh, we still got a long season ahead of us. So I'm um, excited to keep her going here tonight. Love that. Love the attitude out of the freshman right there. All right, so walking back now. Campus is buzzing. Uh, a lot of people just got out of class. Uh, walking back with a couple of classmates. Say what's up, guys. Hey, what's up? Are, are you guys coming to the game tonight? Oh, absolutely. Of course. Be a Monday night in early October, but the atmosphere was more Mardi Gras, and the Nittany Lions opened the scoring again with a power play still goal. Still no score. 10 40 left, first period side of the goal. Lampa leaks on free. Berger from the near circle. Score! Front Lampolo, Deeks Dangle scores! Sick minutes! Two goals in a little over two minutes, and Pagula was rocking to the rafters. They had a major shot advantage in true Nittany Lions style and took a 2 1 lead into the second. You're faking. To Seco drives, block down front, swatted back out to center. Sarlo has it out of the box. Breakaway, left to right in, forehand fire, score! Christian Sarlo! That was so fortunate. Skate, boy, skate. Now it's Bross retreating in his own zone. McLean hampering him. Geneva gets the turnover. Shot, score! Selling. Dad, we have a power play. We do. McEachern gets it right back far half. Ports guides it wall far corner. Wall back door. Phillips fires. Score! A season opening sweep of the Sharks in just three days off before a visit from Canisius. Sun came out a little bit. Uh, we got this beautiful, I think this is the science building, right? Yeah. Science building. Uh, yeah, check out these backpacks too though. Ben hooking the boys up. Got the numbers on the top left, hockey in big letters. Gotta love it. Let me see, are you wearing the new sweatshirt too, Decker? Let's see that. Yeah, Penn State hockey put the numbers on the, on the right chest. <laughs> Gotta love it. Thanks, Ben, we appreciate you. Campus is buzzing right now. Everyone's out and about. Ton of students. Uh, this was where uh, college game day was for the whiteout game. We're just gonna come up here and try to get a good shot of uh, Old Main for you guys. Good old American flag right there. It's Old Main. Old Main, everybody. A week of classes went by quickly before the Golden Griffins of Canisius College arrived to renew a series that had been dormant for five years. Excited to play, that's for sure. It's been a crazy week. Could not be more happy to suit up here for the first time. So uh, excited everything uh, worked out the way it should be and excited for the first one, that's for sure. Friday nights at Pagula are always special, but this one would present a challenge as Penn State trailed in a game for the first time in the young season. Kevin Wall answered quickly and the game went to the third period tied 1-1. Penn State had 40 shots on goal. Kevin Wall ties it at one. But Kenesha scored three third period goals to give Penn State their first loss of the season and first ever loss to the Golden Griffins. We wanted to be cute, and they took advantage of us being cute. That's what I think happened. Penn State had to quickly wash that one off with another meeting against Canisius less than 15 hours later. All right, well, we got to come right in off, so change our game and get a dub because we're not getting swept in the goal here. The quick spin around was a good thing. Time to work on issues without dwelling on them. We got outworked, and uh, if we want to win hockey games, we got to stop trying to play cute and just outwork the other team. 
and the blue collars on their jerseys matched that mentality. We came to a big one. Liam Solier would get his first start of the season in goal. Coach Guy Godowski said he had been working hard and deserved to go, and it proved to be a good decision. We have to bounce back, so it's a bounce back game for us, and uh, we have to win this game. It's really important for us. Another important thing for Penn State on the young season, scoring the first goal. Give left wing, toe tracks, and backhand score! Danny Trudeau, what a move! Forehand, backhand, slips it by hole. It was a good sign. Penn State was 3-0 when scoring first, but this was about more than just that. The Nittany Lions blocked shots and played with grit. Solier protected the lead well and would tie a career high with 36 saves. The Nittany Lions didn't just talk about working harder, their sweat paid dividends. You gotta stay positive and we gotta, you know, take the little things and the good things out of that game and bring them into today. Jones stays with it though, centers to the point for McEachern. McEachern shoots, scores! McEachern's goal made it 2-0 early in the second period, but the Nittany Lions' willingness to sacrifice their bodies and block shots continued, showing they had learned something from Friday night's loss. You got it, boys! Keep Connor McMenamin was like having two goalies on the ice at once as he blocked no less than three shots himself on one shift. These grit and spit Nittany Lions were in control of the game. Go, go, go! Here comes Sarlo, right to left. Sarlo shoots, scores! Far down, Christian Sarlo makes it 3-0. He rips it over the glove of Matt Land. Surveys, looks, throws one through. Grant backhand, scores! Kenny Johnson winds and drives, and it just gets out of the zone. Now McEachern, McEachern with an empty net, short-handed. McEachern shoots, scores! There's the dagger! Great effort, boys. Cax, you had a great game. Got to give it to Sewell's. Yeah. Uh, boys, it was a battle. Good job, second period, blocking shots everywhere. I mean, I think it shows character that we managed to put up five. It, it, was, it was an electric atmosphere. All the boys stuck together, played well to uh, bring it over to the next two weeks against Niagara. So I think we should be we should be good for Niagara and upcoming in North Dakota. We're gonna go see my parents, uh, my best friend from back home with his family. They're all here supporting, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go say hello for a little bit. The Nittany Nation love knows no boundaries, coming from other states as well as other countries. Here's my roommate, Xander Lampa. You ready to go or what? Oh yeah, ready to go. Heck yeah, here we go. Uh, here's, here's actually a nice view from our apartment. Looks like the sun came out. Uh, we lucked out with a good spot this year. Um, but yeah, boys are fired up. We're looking good and we're ready to go. All right, looks like our ride's here. We're gonna, we're gonna see what uh, Dougie has to say about the game today. All right, Dougie has arrived. How do you feel about tonight's game, Dougie? Fired up. Let's go. We're parked. Boys are pulling up to the peg. Ready to go. We'll get you guys a nice shot of the rink right here from the outside. Oh, baby. Place is going to be rocking tonight, eh, Dougie? Packed. Pack the peg. Pack the peg. Just entered the rink and we're ready to go. Oh, fire me up. Hey, coach, 
four games in seven days to open up the season, a lot of information in a short mm -hmm. period of time. How did you use the last 11 days then to take that and apply it? Yeah, we have to get back to our identity. I mean, it, it was something that we, we had to do early as well, but but offensively, there's a few things that have to happen for us that are staples, that for us uh, for us to have success uh, and and produce, these things have to happen. So we worked a little bit of that. And then, and then uh, defensively, um, along the same lines, it's more identity based. It is a little systematic based, but just getting back to our game to do something consistent to be tough to play against in all three zones. Penn State out shooting Niagara 9 3 here in this opening stanza. Penn State gets the steal at center. McMenamin flings it on ahead. Copeland backhand out front. Shot score! Kevin Wall! Kevin Wall! Uh, it was a good back check by Mac, and then good pass by Cope. Good stick by Philly to start it, too. Hey, I'm sure you all uh, know exactly what happened, but it's fun to watch anyway. When we talk about how working, we do it for a reason. We do it so we can score a goal. Exactly like this. We talk about back check. This is two great examples. Number one, keep your eye on Mac. Great back check, quick transition, go the other way, speed. Fun watch, right? All starts with back kicks. Ben Schoen! The puck rattling around out front. Finally, Schoen able to settle it down. Huge, huge goal, and uh, obviously thankful to uh, be able to finally get the first one out of the way. A little nervous. A little nervous there. Whee! All goes to this guy. Stretched me out. Told me I was going to score. He was absolutely blown up on the play by Connor McEachern. Draw Bringer from the far half boards. Score! That puck had eyes! There's a three on one. Pass, wall, slot, dances in, fires, score! Kevin Wall! Wall was scoring and Audio was putting up a wall in net. A great combo for winning. It would be Audio's fourth career shutout tying the school record. A win is a win is a win. We did a lot of really good things tonight. We showed the progress that we've been working towards the last two weeks. We're going to look at the video and make sure we come back a better team tomorrow and come up with another win. All right? Uh, game two. <laughs> Friday night in State College. No, we're better. Oh, yes. Can't beat it. And you can't beat this hockey team when they do all the little things right. Our first period was our literally our best of the year, okay, uh, from an intensity standpoint. Then in the third period, we either let up on the gas or we're f too fatigued from the second period and our intensity drops as well. So we can't work and we're not intense. And we want to try to challenge you, can we mentally do it consistently from what we see in the first period? We got to come out with our game. We talk about outworking, outgrinding. It has to happen from the drop of the puck, but you have to be mentally prepared, not only to do it in the first period, but to do it in the second and to bring it home, that's your challenge. Coaching, facilities, fan support, all the ingredients to meet that challenge. He clears it. Hopped on by Dick, it's a two-on-one shorthanded. Dick drops it back atop the near circle. Paquette fires! Scores! Tyler Paquette! Bar down beauty! Shorthanded for Paquette, it's his first career goal! Oh, that felt good. Uh, Dick made a nice play, I was talking to him, said cut middle, he made a nice fake, kind of drew the D to him, gave me time to shoot, and then got lucky, I guess. <laughs> Copeland flying behind the goal, centers, pass Gratton, now Phillips slot, drops it back, teed up and a drive, SCORE! Kevin Wall on the power play! Two zip Nittany Lions! This is near point, it's Harper's shot block, rattles through to center, breakaway, here comes Kerwin in, waits, dangles, fires, SCORE! Uh, just in the right spots, and puck came out to me, bounced out, got a breakaway, put it in. Hey, 
Wall racing after it to the Niagara line. One hands it forward. Zelinski battles with him. Wall to it. Power move. He scores! What a goal, Kevin Wall! Penn State back up two. What a series for Kevin Wall. Two goals in one game, two more in game two with a penalty shot opportunity for a hat trick. Wall scoops it up across the Niagara line, comes in between the race, and the forehand fires, he scores! Patrick Kevin Wall! He scores! Tyler Paquette with his second of the game. When you do the little things that help you win, you get rewarded, and that's exactly what happened. Wall's a great game, great goals, but I tell you what, the leadership in terms of making strong plays when you have to do them was awesome. It is awesome to be a Penn State hockey player, and these young men were on their way for a Penn State first, playing in the USA Hockey oh, Hall of Fame yeah. game in Nashville. First road trip with the boys, going to Nashville, pretty fired up. Sitting right in front of Ryan Kerwin, freshman. Simon. Ryan, what, how are you feeling about Nashville? I'm feeling great. Very excited. Hey, uh, getting on the plane, off the bus. See you guys in Nashville. Who's ready to go to Nashville? How are we? Huh? Excuse me. <laughs> how are you? My roommate, Carson Dick. MTV Cribs. MTV Cribs. Nice to see you in Nashville. Uh, just having dinner here with the boys. Uh, Kleiner, what do you got to eat today? Some salmon, some steak, a little bit of vegetables. <laughs> Not seen a lot of vegetables there. Oh, Should definitely be having a few of those. Grab yourself a muscle note, too. Great meal. Yeah. Not as good as those jeans you're rocking right now, Jake. <laughs> Thank you. I'm actually um, I'm wearing my favorite uh, country singer shirt sure right now, Zach Brown Ben. <laughs> uh, mind if I ask you guys who your favorite country singer is? What's going on, Dave? Toby Keith. Not too much. Toby Keith from Adam. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go with Zach Brown back. Yes. Yes. Correct. I'd like to see that. Uh, very excited. Got my uh, nightly robe on, as you can see. Uh, Looks great. We're excited for the game. Uh, gonna get a good night's rest here and uh, get ready to go tomorrow. What's up, Nindy Nation? Uh, here with Daniel Janiev. Uh, just getting ready to go out to the game. Had a good day of uh, meetings and recovery and rest. And uh, ready yeah. to go get after it tonight. Oh yeah, we're coming. Ready, focused, ready to go. We got our coffees. Big tradition for me and Danny. Yeah, get gotta coffees have, before every game. Gotta have your coffee. Gotta have that. Always gotta have your coffee. We'll, uh, we'll see you guys after the win tonight. Music City is the place to be tonight for the college hockey event of the year as number six, North Dakota, takes on Penn State. A player's coach, though, and a man that has this program certainly on the rise. Alex Siner, Jake Brantz, and 17,000 of our closest acquaintances ready to bring you this one tonight from Bridgestone Arena, the home of the NHL's Nashville Predators. Penn State's first road test of the year was more like a final exam against sixth-ranked North Dakota. Hey, come on. But Coach Kodowski, the staff, and the players were primed and prepared from the start. And now an odd man rush for the Nittany Lions. Danny Jania finding his man who finds the back of the net. And it is Penn State who strikes first. Tyler Gratton, the junior, Pennsylvania native, lighting the lamp. Tyler Gratton was making music in Nashville thanks to a perfect setup from Danny Geneev. Like a perfect duet on Broadway, this song silenced the mostly North Dakota crowd. But that was just the opening act. Clayton Phillips was the headliner. 
McMenamin with the opportunity that time. Wall now knocked down by Driscoll with the glove. Boy, you can see Zach Driscoll's feeling the puck here tonight. Wall once again from the slot, blocked by Caulfield. The puck falls, and it's Clayton Phillips, the power play goal. Oh boy, Clayton Phillips was everywhere on this power play. He starts out on the top left. He made a great play. Look at He's a defenseman. Look at him dishing the puck there. Loose shot score! Clayton Phillips! Phillips was like a shark, circling his prey and made no mistake, while his co-headliner, Connor McEachran, took to the stage. Loose puck. Picks up here by McEachran. He'll fire and find the back of the net! Top corner on the power play for Connor McEachran. Penn State was feeling it, but North Dakota cut the lead to one, pushing the Nittany Lions to get back to work. Penn State back on the board. It's Clayton Phillips again. Second of the night for Phillips, and it's 4-2. to two. One pass up ahead, and a chance now falling here. Connor McEachern is second on the night. Penn State up 5-3. The two-goal lead restored. Sandrick, 10 seconds to go. Jake Schmaltz, shot blocked. Penn State with the puck, they will send it down, and that will do it tonight. Clayton Phillips made the last second block, and Ben Copeland finished the game off with his first as a Nittany Lion. Most thought Penn State couldn't pull it off, but most weren't in their locker room. Great two goals. This goes to a guy that night in and night out consistently plays the right way and he got rewarded for tonight. So Filippo. Good proud of you boys, hey? <laughs> that goes for mental toughness. You all deserve it tonight. And congratulations. The perfect ending for the non-conference slate, with the Big Ten season just a few days away.